whey protein. There have been hundreds of videos created on this subject. Most people will agree though that those of us that train with weights to build lean muscle tissue require more, more protein than the average person. Now, the question is, which protein is the best protein for building lean muscle tissue? Enter whey protein powder. Since its introduction in the early 1990s, whey protein powder has become the most popular protein supplement on the market. Now, where does it come from? Where does whey protein powder originate? There are two types of protein found in milk, casein and whey. And when cheese is manufactured from milk, the casein becomes the cheese and the whey is discarded. Now for years, that whey was sent to a animal feed manufacturing plant and used as an additive in animal feed. When the idea to sell whey protein in a powdered form to the uh, general public was conceived, it was billed as a more bioavailable protein. Okay, now unfortunately, whey protein powder may not be the miracle supplement that manufacturers would have you believe. First of all, whey protein sold in the United States must be pasteurized. Okay, and pasteurization is the process of heating a liquid or a food to kill pathogenic bacteria. Now when applied to milk, this process destroys some of the fractions in the whey protein that's in the milk. Now, if we stop there, we have what we call native whey. Okay, the milk has been pasteurized once and the whey is removed. Now, if the whey is left in the milk and is rendered as a byproduct of the cheese making process, it is pasteurized a second time. There are two types of pasteurization available to whey protein manufacturers. The first one is a slower, lower heat pasteurization that takes a lot longer. What they tend to do is go for what they call the flash, flash pasteurization, which is a very high temperature. It's very quick, just a few seconds, and that saves time and money. Okay, but it also damages the protein to a greater extent, okay? Now, this is called denatured whey, okay? When it's been damaged like that, the higher the pasteurization temperature and the more times it's pasteurized, the more it's damaged, okay? The more it's denatured. Now, a lot of amateur bodybuilders will say to you, uh, well, I buy cold filtered whey, so it's not denatured. Well, all whey is pasteurized, that's the law, and it's pasteurized first, then the cold filterization takes place if they use that process, okay? And all that means is that it's concentrated through this cold filterization, okay, into a higher percentage of, say, whey protein, okay? So all whey protein is denatured. Now, another drawback of supplementing with whey protein is the possibility of what they call protein spiking, okay? Now, rather than use all whey protein in a whey protein product, the manufacturer will substitute a portion of the whey with one of the amino acids that's contained in the whey because that amino acid is cheaper. And they get away with that because it is an amino acid found in the whey. It's a constituent of the whey, a fraction of the whey. So they're not really doing anything illegal. It's uh, still 100% whey, and they don't have to legally show the percentage of that protein they're spiking with on the label. So these are reasons why I stay away from whey protein. Not only that, it's very expensive. And uh, I do believe, in, as I've stated before, in getting my protein from natural foods. That way I know for sure what I'm getting and I have control over what I'm getting as far as my protein supplementation, as far as my BCAAs, all these other amino acids. I have control because I know exactly what's in 
uh, an ounce of chicken, an ounce of steak. Okay, I know what the uh, what the uh, nutritional profile is of those various proteins, so I can control exactly what I'm ingesting. 